it's been some time that I've actually recorded here, so wanted to cleanse the place before we start. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. I feel like I've definitely lost touch with how to use my gear in the studio. Things were kind of a little bit out of place, finding my groove and hopefully get to do these a little bit more often. Today I wanted to take you guys deeper into how we shot a music video. So to kick things off, uh, God No Home is a new single that I've recently released. I'll link everything below if you guys want to check it out on streaming platforms and the music video is also on this channel. But today I wanted to dive a little bit deeper on how we set the whole thing up. So to start off with, I had an idea of recreating a mini festival vibe. So I spoke to a few friends and uh, I posted on my Instagram that I was looking for uh, people with Burning Man outfits. And to be honest, I didn't even know how many people was going to show up. So it was super organic. I wanted to leave it this way. I just was counting on the interest of the community and the people that connect with this kind of music to show up. Of course, with the help of my team at Create Production, we all came together and we started to put a plan. It's super important with these things to kind of have a direction that you want to go in, especially that uh, we weren't dealing with professional actors, we weren't dealing with a uh, professional cast. It was just super organic. Everybody showed up uh, on their own account and just wanted to help out and support. So without directing too much, we, we kind of like told everybody that you know, the format's going to be that you're going to come in, we're going to shoot a, a few scenes that are kind of pre-rehearsed, but everything in between was going to be you guys jamming out to the music. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, of course, before we go into the technical aspect of how we shot the music video, a big shout out has to go out to Milton and m &K Studios for giving us the space. We've managed to turn around that uh, loft area that they have in the studio into a complete kind of like mini rave or you know after party scene uh which i was super impressed with and again it all came down to uh, the support and the amount of people that showed up and made this happen all right now technical talk what cameras did we use while we we're shooting this music video it was the sony fx9 as our main camera and we had two sony a7s mark iii's so a few things that really added a lot of value to the shoot number one was the light fixtures or the moving heads uh, these definitely brought that entire place to life if we didn't have these lights it would have been the whole music video would have been dead and number two, it was the Haze machine. I think that added a lot of value to the image and created this creamy and nice dreamy feel and look that we were after. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I'd appreciate it if you can let me know in the comment section below what kind of content you've been enjoying the most on this channel recently. There is a lot of music that I'm working on that I cannot wait to share with everybody soon, but I'm also trying to keep this channel as a balance between filmmaking, music, and few exploration topics that I'll be taking on in the form of short mini documentary types. Once again, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you next time.